let me explain the reasons why I let these two dogs greet. For the past 30 years, I've become a student of animal behavior, mastering humane training methods for problem dogs. I have helped thousands of clients better understand their dog's responses and improve their dog's skills to bring companionship and joy to dogs and their owners. One of the first things you're going to see in this handsome dog, Gus, is he jumps high in the air. He's very excited, elongating his body. I also, tip number two here, looked at my dog. My dog is super calm. If she thought he was being rude or aggressive, she would have barked back. As the owner tries to ask him to leave, he says, I don't want to leave. I really want to get near this dog. Tip number four, look how calm he is smelling the grass. That's not reactive. That's not aggressive. This Leon Berger is consistently pulling very hard to get to my shepherd. He really wants to get near her. Again, showing that he is actually highly social. We did a nice parallel walking here, and the closer he gets to her, the calmer he gets. So think about that, guys. He gets better as he gets closer. He's calmer. That tells me I'm meeting some of his social needs. Tip number seven, as we pause here, he becomes more thoughtful. He's actually looking at her going, I love you. I just want to get in your space. He consistently has an open mouth, consistently has a relaxed tail, and he consistently tries to get near my dog. That is a dog that is excited about getting near a dog. That is not reactive behavior. As you look here as we're parallel walking, my dog barks at him. Look at him. He doesn't respond with any aggression or fear. He doesn't turn away. He shows lots of confidence here. And again in this photo, look at him engaging. Mom, I just want to get near her. At this point, I could tell he was a goofy boy and it was fine to let these two dogs greet on leash. He lies down, begging my female shepherd to come see him. Remember, he's only one. The German Shepherd is two, so she's got a year on him, and she has a lot more social skills than he does. Check out how much he wanted to smell her. He continues to try and smell her. He has very strong olfactory needs. As she dances away a little bit, we let another greeting. Sit, wait, go say hi, and look at his interest in just smelling her. Here she jumps her privates away saying, sorry, but that is not available to you, mister. And he just goes in for smelling, smelling her neck, her face. She's jumping away a little bit, so we took a little bit of a break. Called her away. I gave her her ball. She starts to establish some rules here. She snaps at him and says, nope, you can't have that. Every time he approaches and gets in her space, it's about his need to smell her. He's not really asking to play, is he? She's establishing some rules here. And every time she snaps, he yields space. He moves his head away, showing he doesn't want to fight. And he comes back for more. She snaps at him, setting rules. And she put her paws on him. Stop it. Would you just leave me alone? And he begins to play bow. So now we're starting to see that we actually have friends, which is great. But look at his consistent wanting to smell her. She snaps at him here, and he lies down and says, That's fine, ma'am. As long as I can be near you, I'm going to smell your toes. I'm just so happy to be near you. I was really pleased that we were able to have this time to be able to let this Leon Berger meet a nice dog. But here, again, he's a bit pushy, and I'm going to have to call Jade away to give her a little bit of a break. To recap, I hope you now understand the dog's body language better so that you can make a good choice whether you should let your dog greet another dog on leash or not. To see more videos explaining dog behavior, be sure and subscribe to my channel.